Hi, my name's Danny Fleming of MA Properties Real Estate. So I'm going to talk a little bit about why is the owner occupancy rate in a block of condos important? In one word, it's financing. Um, financing. Each mortgage company or bank have specific levels of required owner occupancy rates to actually allow funding to happen. So each bank is different. Um, what the owner occupancy rate is, is let's say you've got 50 condos um, in a development and the owner occupancy rate is 10% because five of them are the owners live in them and the other 45 of them um, are rented um, out, you know, they're investors that own the condos and rent them out to, to folks. The banks believe that there is far more risk associated with lending on a low owner occupancy rate um, group, a uh, condo, because they feel that you know there's not much care being take uh, being taken of the maintenance the uh, the the basically the care and feeding if you like of the um of the condo in the development so it reduces the um asset value um quite dramatically if you're wanting to buy a condo in a low owner occupancy um, rate um, development, then you really need to do due diligence with the bank that, that you in that you intend using, because they may not. Um, once you tell them that it's a low owner occupancy um, condo, they may not actually fund the loan for you, and then you're scrambling trying to find um, uh, alternate financing. The value of a condo in a low owner occupancy rate development is a lot less than what that same condo would be than the value of that same condo in a high owner occupancy um, rate development. Because typically there are so few banks that will lend or are lending at a high interest rate, higher than normal interest rate, um, if you want to buy in a low occupancy rate condo, um, that resale on them is a little tough because typically for a, for a buyer to easily buy a condo in a low occupancy, a low owner occupancy um, development, then often they're a cash buyer. Um, financing is not an issue to them. So you really have to stop and think long and hard about whether um, you want to buy a home in a low owner occupancy um, development. Now, how does that impact you as a seller? I know because this is selling essentials. Need to, needed to explain what the ramifications are with you being in a low owner occupancy um, rate development. It means, in my opinion, it means you need to be involved in the condo association, in the, in the, the rules and regulations of the condo association. Some rules and regs that I see um, don't have any limitation on how whether you rent your condo or not and that might be fine because you're buying it to rent it out but understand the ramifications that once the occupancy rate um, the owner occupancy rate drops to a certain amount now you're compromised a little bit with resale so it might be the um, the rules and regs might be changed, um, you know, getting the condo association involved in this and changing the rules and regs to limit how many um, condos are rented out. Um, it also means understanding that 
you know, a condo, a similar condo as yours that's across the road, it might have a high owner occupancy rate. You're not going to sell for the same price as that same condo, as, as a similar condo in that building. It re and, and understanding this before you even get into the, to the development, but then trying to change things over time um, might be worthwhile. Because one of the things with that is, is that you could potentially stay um, and, and keep that investment for another 10, 15, 20 years. And over that period of time, if you've made some changes, you know, with the condo association and attorneys drawing them all up and everything, um, limiting how many um, are, are rented, you know, it might be a long iterative process, but it may happen. You'd really need to discuss this with your your real estate attorney because there's there's a whole lot of um, ramifications to that. But anyway, that's why the owner occupancy rate in a block of condos is important. It's financing. Oh, and that's why when a new development is being built, typically the seller has an arrangement with a bank already because if you're the first person buying or the second person buying or the third person buying in a 20 unit development you're going to have low occupancy low owner occupancy rate because they're not even built yet and that's why that arrangement has been made with that bank so that the people first in the um, development can still get decent financing so anyway that's it probably in a nutshell <laughs> But talk to your attorney if you want more info than that or your bank um, or call me and we can chat more about it in, 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 in uh, we can chat more about it. So anyway, hope you have a great day. Bye.